hey everyone and welcome back to our channel in today's video we are going to show you how to fade in and fade out in CapCut. let's begin now the first thing that you need to do is to log in using your credentials if this is the first time in CapCut, i want you to click the sign up option from here just follow with the on-screen instructions and you're good to go to apply a fade in and fade out effects to your video in CapCut, all you have to do is follow with these simple steps. Now, if you haven't already, download the CapCut for your desktop and then try to click the create a new project if you want to start from scratch. In my case, I'm going to be using this project where I want to create a fade in and fade out effects. So the first thing is you want to hover to the playhead right here and slide to your timeline where you want to start putting the fade in now the first thing that we need to understand is we need to create you need to zoom in for a clear view right here so we can split the uh, clips accordingly and then now i wanted to create a fade in effect for the first few seconds of the video so hovered your playhead to probably like in the first uh maybe uh one second and then if you do go to the video editing section go to a basic you want to make sure you are on the opacity if you can't find the opacity that's under blend click the drop down menu here and we should add a keyframe right and then after adding a keyframe the next thing is now from here i want to create the faded effect slowly by going here and add the next keyframe right here and reduce by clicking this left last keyframe reduce the opacity to zero all right so what will happen is if you play now the video you see that it's it created a smooth fade in effect which is what we wanted here all right so basically that's that now on the last part is creating a fade out effect of course we need to select the last clip of our video again you need to use the uh, zoom in so probably around here it's not too much probably around here there's just way I, where i wanted to create a fade out effect now for us to do that so it's the same thing what we're going to do is add the clip right here and then Maybe around here, we're going to reduce out the opacity. And click another keyframe. All right. So let's try to see what we got so far. Around here, we have successfully created a fade out effect. All right. Now, once you're happy with it, since we have successfully created a fade in and fade out effect, you might want to hover to the export button on the top right corner where you can export it to different file formats. You can export it to different um, AVI, MP4, and whatnot. And that's it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching, guys. We will see you again in the next one.